welcome students uh, very good morning to all today we are going to discuss about another new topic that is in your 10th class biology what is the topic diseases due to malnutrition diseases due to malnutrition also called as food related diseases food related diseases we all know that food is one of the important source to maintain biological processes in a perfect manner if you want to become healthy person then we have to take healthy diet balanced diet and we all know that what is balanced diet the diet which contain required amounts of carbohydrates fats proteins minerals vitamins salts and roughages different water all these if they are present in the required amounts then only it is called as balanced diet and the people who are taking balanced diet they won't be suffer, suffer with this malnutrition and most of the countries which are under development which are developing uh, in such kind of countries we may find the children they may suffer from malnutrition okay um, if we talk about entire world two third of world population is suffering with food related diseases two third portion of the people are suffering with food related means of malnutrition and this malnutrition is associated with a uh, two causes one is uh, some of the people are uh, suffering with uh, malnutrition means a uh, Uh, food related diseases uh, whenever the people are taking excess amount of calories in their diet okay some people who are rich whose economic condition is well such kind of people daily they may take rich food daily if we take rich food also it may cause some digestive problems to our body and most of the people in our country and some other countries like pakistan bangladesh and some other parts of uh, africa most of the people are suffering because of lack of balanced diet most of the people are suffering with lack of balanced diet if we are unable to take balanced diet in proper amounts daily then it leads to different deficiency diseases and which is also called as malnutrition we are able to find this malnutrition mainly in the children okay then what is malnutrition what is malnutrition okay here if we talk about the definition of malnutrition it is very important to know the definition of malnutrition see here eating of food daily we are eating food okay that does not have one or more than one nutrients the food what we are eating sometimes it may lack of one or more nutrients in it for example if we take a daily the same variety of food it leads to the lack of certain nutrients in the food okay uh, and at the same time in required amounts though we are taking food which is having all the nutrients in it if we take not in required amounts not in the sufficient manner also lead to the malnutrition i think you understand what is malnutrition eating of food that does not eating of food thus that does not have one or more nutrients in required amount in required amount you have to remember this in required amount is known as malnutrition once again recall eating of food that does not contain one or more than one nutrients in required amounts is known as malnutrition okay and this uh, malnutrition is caused by uh, because of uh, different reasons the malnutrition is uh, generally we may find it our country because of uh, different reasons then what are that reasons if you find here because of poor health if we are not if we are not a healthy person then it also leads to malnutrition and uh, willful starvation because of many reasons some people wantedly they may starve 
they may do fasting in the name of God, in the name of uh, if their uh, economic condition is not good, then such kind of people, they may do willful starvation. And because of, this is also one of the reason be, uh, to the malnutrition. Okay, next. Lack of awareness of uh, nutritional habits. Some people, they don't know about the value of the nutrition. That's why they won't eat. They are unable to eat uh, the sufficient amount of nutrients daily. If we not educated with uh, nutritional habits, if we don't know about nutritional habits, also leads to the malnutrition. That is why it is very important to know about malnutrition. If you want to keep your children in the future to be a healthy person, then at this age, you people have to know about malnutrition. Okay. And another one, another important reason is socio-economic factors. What are socio-economic factors? Social reasons and economic conditions also affect our survival, the diet what we are taking. If we are economically poor, then we are unable to take the balanced diet and it also leads to malnutrition mainly in the children. Okay, if we talk about different varieties of malnutrition in the children, the malnutrition is categorized into three types. What are that? Three types, we'll see here, uh, calorie malnutrition. The first one is calorie malnutrition. And the next one, protein malnutrition. Protein malnutrition. Third one is both protein and calorie malnutrition. Calorie malnutrition, protein malnutrition, protein calorie or calorie protein malnutrition. Three types of malnutrition we are able to find in our surroundings. What are that? Calorie malnutrition, protein malnutrition, protein calorie malnutrition. Um, because of this malnutrition, most of the children are affecting mainly in India. What are the diseases? Uh, food related diseases, what we are calling as malnutrition. Here, if you find these are the three major diseases we may find in the children. Okay. See here, Quashiarchar. What is this? Quashiarchar disease. Marasmus disease and obesity. I think you people are well familiar with this obesity. Okay. If we talk about Quashiarchar disease, uh, this disease mainly caused by the lack of protein in the diet. The people who are not taking the diet which is having proteins, if we are unable to take the proteinaceous food, then such kind of children may suffer with a disease called as Quashiarchar. Okay, here you may remember this KP. Quashiarchar is caused by protein deficiency then you won't get confused okay then what are the symptoms of this quashiarchar disease whenever you find the children who are suffering from quashiarchar then uh, we may find different symptoms in them the first one is body parts become swollen whenever you see such kind of people who are suffering from quashiarchar uh, the body parts they always be swollen why the body parts are swelling? Because of the accumulation of water between intracellular spaces in their, in, inside their body, between the gap of the intracellular spaces, in that space the water accumulates and makes the body parts to be swollen. That is the first symptom. And next, uh, poor muscle development. We may find very less muscle development in their body and means uh, um, these children they won't grow in a proper way uh, depending on the age they won't they won't grow when compared with the healthy kid okay uh, at the same time we also find swollen legs along with the body parts different body parts we also find swollen legs in the quashiarchar people and at the same time their face it just looks like a fluffy face the face of the quashiarchal child is fluffy and at the same time we may find a dry skin 
diarrhea is also one of the symptom of Kwashiorkor disease. If we talk about marasmus, whenever you heard the word marasmus, you just remember MPC. MPC. If you go to intermediate, you may find one group MPC. Here M means marasmus. Marasmus is caused by protein calorie deficiency. If you remember this without any confusion, you may remember in your brain. Whenever you heard the word marasmus, then marasmus is caused by, is due to the lack of protein calorie diet. Protein calorie deficiency disease is called as marasmus. Then what are the symptoms and why this marasmus we may find in the children? Means, uh, the woman who is giving repeatedly birth to the children, such kind of children get the marasmus disease. If the mother, the same mother is giving uh, repeated childbirth, then such kind of uh, uh, children, they may suffer with a disease called as marasmus. And immediate second pregnancy also cause marasmus disease because of uh, lack of many nutrients in the body leads to marasmus disease. Mainly protein calorie deficiency disease is marasmus. Then what are the symptoms of this disease? If we talk about the symptoms here, they are very lean, lean, very lean. We are able to see them like a skeleton. Like that, they just appears a lean person and weak, lean and very weak. Always they appears in weak. This kind of children, they won't mm, active in doing different activities and swelling in the joints of limbs near to the uh, legs and hands we may find near to the joints swelling near to the joints of fingers and here near to the elbow region knee region in different parts of the body near to the joints mm, they just swollen that is one of the most important symptoms we find in the Marasmus. Later, less development in muscles as like Kwashiorkor. Here also we find a poor development in the muscle. Dry skin here and here common. Dry skin, diarrhea, common symptoms of Kwashiorkor and Marasmus. Dry skin, diarrhea, poor development of muscles are common both in Kwashiorkor children and Marasmus children. Okay, do you understand? Uh, then go to the obesity. It is these two diseases or deficiency diseases. But if we talk about obesity, the people who are taking um, um, more calories into their body, who are consuming more calories into their body, and the children who um, are involving in overeating processes, whenever you see a person who is eating always something, they may suffer with a disease called as obesity. And now in days we are finding most of the children, they are suffering with obesity. Not uh, related to the age, most of the people, they are looking obesity. Mm. And overeating, taking excess calories into the body cause obesity. At this age, they won't get uh, many problems. But whenever they grow up, Many diseases, they affect the obesic people, obesic patient, okay, like diabetes. And uh, if we talk about BP, high blood pressure, renal diseases means kidney problems, gallbladder diseases we may find in obesic people. Renal diseases, cardiovascular diseases means uh, heart related diseases, heart attacks. Whenever you heard the word heart attacks, most of the people who are obesic, they may get heart attack very easily when compared with the lean people, means uh, fit people. That's why it is very important to know, um, to just have an idea on obesity at this age only. We have to eat food which is very healthy. And you people always attracted to the junk food. By eating junk food more and more, it increases calories in our body, which is uh, um, containing more fat like pizzas, 
most of the people have interest to take pizzas and the food which is uh, available in the outside we people have interest to take it by taking such kind of food more calories or depositing in our body and making us to look obesic if we look obesic then many diseases may lie in our body like diabetes cardiovascular diseases renal diseases gall bladder problems it may affect us whenever we grown up that's why joint pains leg pains like that different problems may affect the obesic people if you want to become fit then uh, from your childhood onwards you have to start a healthy lifestyle uh, we have to wake up early in the morning and we have to follow exercises by exercising we are able to reduce we are able to burn the excess calories present in our body like that we may get uh, some relief from obesity okay then here malnutrition is of three types what are that calorie malnutrition protein malnutrition and next one is protein calorie malnutrition uh, in brief i will explain again kwashiorkor disease for this disease you remember kp k kwashiorkor it indicates deficiency of proteins in the diet okay what are the major symptoms we may find here swollen body parts because of the accumulation of water in the intracellular spaces next one is swell uh, poor muscle development less muscle development diarrhea and also dry skin at the same time swollen legs we find swollen legs and fluffy face to this disease and marasmus whenever you heard the word marasmus remember mpc marasmus is caused by the deficiency of proteins calories in the diet okay then it is caused by repeated child birth and immediate second pregnancy cause marasmus in the kids okay what are the major symptoms we may find for this disease swelling in the joints swelling in the joints and at the same time these people are very lean and weak less growth less muscle development dry skin diarrhea along with that swelling in the joints of limbs we are able to find in this disease obesic people they just looks uh, like a stubby people chubby okay they are unable to move easily and they are unable to do their activities in a active manner they always sit like a lazy boy or lazy girl such kind of people have to reduce the over eating over intake of excess calories into their body and they have to do a lot of hard work physical work by that they may burn by doing strenuous exercises violent exercises they may burn Uh, high calories which are deposited in their body if they are unable to do all these activity then obesic people they may get target to different varieties of diseases once again repeat the definition of malnutrition eating of food that does not that does not have one or more than one nutrients in required amounts is known as malnutrition i think you understand this class well and i'll meet you soon in the next session with white